I was not born on the Eastern Shore. I was born in Norfolk, Virginia, and um, but both my sides of my family are from the Eastern Shore. And my father's family, um, <clears throat> back as far as 1635, wow. landed in. Uh, mother's family was from Chicoteague, Assateig, and the early 1700s. So have really deep roots here, even though I was born in Norfolk. And I didn't have a typical childhood in Norfolk. Um, you would think being in a city, um, we, we were raised like country people in the middle of Norfolk. So a lot of the same things that I am surrounded with here on the Eastern Shore had the very same things growing up. And so they speak to me. And um, when I looked at this particular song, and it sounds like, now don't yawn, but it's about transportation on the Eastern Shore. <laughs> And it, it came to me when I was on vacation in the Keys um, a little over a year ago. And I started thinking about, um, I always think about, you know, if I see something old, oh, if I could talk, imagine the stories it could tell. And I was thinking about that, um, I was thinking about the old stone road coming in Cape Charles. My gosh, if I could talk, think about all it has seen. And then I started thinking about the railroad and all that it brought to Cape Charles and, and um, how it really developed the, the area. And, um, and then about our, um, you know, the, the water transportation, the, the old bay liners and, and down to the ferries and now the bridge tunnel. So it kind of gives an overview of um, the uh, history of transportation on the Eastern Shore. I know y'all have been dying to hear that. This is called They Come and They Go. Replaced by 
our bridges and tunnels today well, They come and they go Across the Chesapeake that flow and I've seen the old and I've seen the new I've seen born here, come here, stuck here too <laughs> Destruction and 
and pain. They loaded up their children and their houses too. And they sailed to the mainland to start anew. Ending centuries of life only an islander knew. A peaceful life they knew. A waterman's life, life so wild and free, lost to the storm of thirty. Fishing their old gill nets 
If the fish were running, they'd soon be a coming as long as they were able. Gill nets, gill nets, they kept food upon the table. Go tie two ropes to the fence post, run the other down to the shed. Mark the top one for the corks and the bottom ones for the leads. Hand carved wooden shuttles loaded up with cotton twine. The family all came together at Gilnet hanging time. Oh, Gilnet, she could sing them all. Gilnet, <laughs> there's a cotton twine. Gilnet, oh, Daddy and her Grandpa worked real hard fishing the old Gilnet. If the fish were running, they'd soon be a coming as long as they were able. Gill nets, gill nets, kept food upon the table. Set, let the nets out slow, set them drifting with the tide. Listen to the beat and the rhythm as they strike against the sides of the hand-rusted cabo and the gunnels of a wooden boat. Three-part harmony sang by the corks, the lids, the ropes. When setting gill nets, oh gill nets, those old cotton We're running, they'd soon be a coming as long as they were able. Gill nets, gill nets, kept food upon the table. They'd hang them, then they'd set them, then they'd fish them, then they'd pick them, then they'd clean them, then they'd mend them, then they'd do it all again. Fish to clean. To sell a nickel or a dime, salt the rest away for winter time. Keep us fed through the winter time till time again for gill nets. Oh, gill nets, those old cotton twine gill nets. Oh, daddy and her grandpa work real hard fishing. Fish were running, they'd soon be coming as long as they were able. Gill nuts, gill nuts, kept food on the table. Flounder will swim strong, but who will reap 
the harvest when the watermen are gone. Once again, with the flower, we'll swim strong. 